Let's start by giving all praises to the Most High, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which in Hebrew is the Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles by the Holy Spirit, who taught us His truth. Honors to the brothers, making their bodies a living sacrifice to push the gospel. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, which will be the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians who make up the 12 tribes of Israel according to scripture and according to prophecy. The hopeful elect being one third of these people who are going to return back to the Most High and receive salvation while the remaining be destroyed in judgment along with the wicked. So we back with another lesson through the mercy of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. This lesson is going to be titled The Mark of the B E A S T, which is the RFID microchip, is going to be required for healthcare. The mark, which is the RFID microchip, is going to be required for healthcare. Got a couple videos, a couple readings we're going to get into. We're going to talk about it and then jump into the scriptures. But we're going to start with this first video. And it's titled, Trump Picks Dr. Oz to Run Medicare Medicaid. So Trump has pretty much picked Dr. Oz to, to oversee health care in America. And what Trump is doing, he's picking specific individuals to be over specific things in the government. You know, he's putting everybody in, in position. So everybody going to have a specific role that they play in Trump's administration. So like Elon Musk, Trump appointed him over something. We're going to get into that next lesson. But Trump put good old Dr. Oz over health care. And you ain't heard from him in like 15 years. Now, all of a sudden, you know, he got a top position in the U.S. government over health care. But we're going to play this video and then we're going to move on from here. So check this out. Today, in a fast-growing list at once applauded and slammed by those for and against Donald Trump, I've got simple revolutionary new ways to change your health forever. Mem it on. Simple ways to change health, to change health care forever. That's the RFID microchip. But we're going to talk about it, but let's continue. Known as Dr. Oz from his days as a TV personality and physician, is now Trump's pick to run the U.S. Medicare and Medicaid agencies. He joins multi billionaire Elon Musk, See? Fox News host Pete Hegseth, and Robert Kennedy Jr. as among Trump's cabinet nominees and appointments. But argue. So I think that was the point there. So this guy. Dr. Oz is going to oversee health care in America. And he said he got a way to revolutionize it, to, you know, a simple way to, to revolutionize it. So we got that. We're going to get. We're going to get this um, statement from Dr. Trump that I screenshot it. Statement from President Donald J. Trump. I am very pleased to nominate Dr. May Mid Oz, also known as Dr. Oz, to serve as the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator. America is facing a health care crisis. Now, what's this health care crisis? Well, there's a few concerns which are a growing problem in, in the health care in America. So, for example, one of them is not everybody has access to health care. Why? Because not everybody is insured. You know, and then how do you determine who gets insur who gets insurance and who, and who doesn't get insurance? Who gets covered? Who doesn't get covered? And then the people who do have access to health care, what quality of health care are they getting? Usually those, you know, with the best insurance usually those of a higher status, they get quality health care. While people on like Medicaid, Medicare, 
people of a lower status, they usually get not as good health care. So, so that's the crisis in America. You know, who actually gets health care, who, who has access to it, who's covered, and the quality of health care. So that's the health care crisis. And there may be no physician more qualified and capable than Dr. Oz to make America healthy again. And not only that, America is more sick than it's ever been mentally and physically. He is an eminent physician, heart surgeon, inventor, and world-class communicator. That's going to play a key role in being a communicator. He's going to communicate the RFID microchip to you, who has been at the forefront of healthy living for decades. Dr. Oz will work closely with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to take on the illness industrial complex and all the horrible chronic diseases left in its wake. Yeah, because, you know, it's going to be a rise in pestilence. There's going to be a lot more illnesses and sicknesses out here that's going to be let loose, you know, according to prophecy. Our broken health care system harms everyday Americans. And why is the health care system broken? Because not everybody has access to health care. And the people who do have access to health care, it's not always quality health care. There's all kind of mistakes, misdiagnosis, wrong prescriptions filed, you know, all kind of mistakes that go on um, behind the scenes. So again, the healthcare system in America is broken because more than half the country don't even got access to healthcare. That, that's why it's broken. And those who may get it again, it's not going to be quality health care. Okay, our broken health care system harms Americans every day and crushes our country's budget. Dr. Oz will be a leader in incentivizing disease prevention so we can get the best results in the world for every dollar we spend on health care in our great country. He will cut waste and fraud within our country's most expensive government agency, which is a third of our nation's health care spend and a quarter of our national debt budget, our national budget. Okay, so, so, so how is Dr. Oz going to fix the health care system? You know, how, how are more people going to have access to health care? How are more people going to have quality health care? How is that going to be fixed? Okay, so now we're going to jump to this article. Trump plans to nominate Dr. Oz to oversee Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare. See, the celebrity physician will run the centers of Medicare and Medicaid services, a powerful agency in charge of programs that cover more than 150 million Americans. So that's just under half, maybe like 40% of Americans. So about 60% of Americans, you know, at least don't fall under this. They, they fall under somewhere else. They may have coverage somewhere else or they might not have coverage at all. So let's read some of this. President Trump on Tuesday said that he would nominate Dr. Oz, the author and former television host, to serve as an administrator for Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, a powerful agency that oversees self-insurance programs covering more than 150 million Americans. So this is going to affect a lot of people. This is going to affect a lot of people. Let me see. We're going to...
Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services oversees several of the country's largest government programs, providing health coverage to more than 150 million Americans. They regulate health insurance and set policy that guides the prices that doctors, hospitals, and drug companies are paid for many medical services. About a quarter of all federal spending runs through the centers. So again, this is going to be in charge of insurance and the policies and the prices for medical services. Let's get this. Um, the CMS touches virtually every family in America through Medicaid, Medicare, and it's probably the most challenging technical policy and political job in government, said Drew Altman, the president, whatever, whatever. Even small, almost daily decisions at CMS are billion-dollar decisions that affect industries, patients with serious illnesses, you know, who really care. And, uh, and another reason why the healthcare system in America is broken, because, you know, there's a lot of people that should have health care, but they get denied, you know, simply because they don't have any coverage. So they don't have access to health care. And if they do get health care, they get the bare minimum. You know, you got people who don't need health care, health insurance, but they got it. While people who really don't need it don't got nothing at all. So I guess Dr. Oz is going to fit, fix this up. In the statement announcing his choice, Mr. Trump said Dr. Oz will work closely with Kennedy to take on illness industry complex and all the horrible chronic diseases left in his wake. Chronic diseases, um, long-term illnesses, illnesses that there's really no care for. You bedridden, you in a coma, you on life support, HIV, AIDS, cancer. Okay, so supposedly this guy gonna fix up the, the American healthcare system. But now let's get to the main point of the video. Forgive me if that took a little longer than expected. But check out this The latest breakthroughs turns out at the top. Dr. Oz promotes RFID microchip implants for 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 people in the healthcare industry. Now we're gonna let this play. The latest breakthroughs. Turns out one of the biggest discoveries is actually this tiny. See how small that is? This little chip may be the next big thing. And it sounds like it's right from a sci-fi movie, but people all over the world are implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting-edge technology and what it could mean for your health. Play that last part again. Like it's right from a sci-fi movie, but people all over the world are implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting-edge technology and what it could mean for your health. See, he said, you know, what could the microchip mean for your health? So pretty much saying, if you want to continue to stay healthy, you want to continue to have quality health care you want to continue to have coverage and insurance for your health care or if you don't got access to health care and you would like access to it you got to get that rfid microchip see that so so your access to quality health care gonna be dependent on you getting the rfid microchip that's pretty much what it's trending towards because they already tell you that with the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the BEAST, that it would be your digital ID, your digital wallet. It would be your digital house key, car key. But they say they, they can store all your uh, medical records and medical history on that chip. And they always like to use a scenario, let's say if you're unconscious, a freak accident. 
some kind of medical emergency that left you unconscious. You know that the medical experts could pretty much scan your chip and, and find out everything they need to know about you. You know, and that could save your life. That's a scenario they always like to present. So, pretty much, they're going to start pushing this RFID microchip all over the place. It's going, to be, it's going to be required for you to work, to spend money, to receive money here in America. It's going to be required for identification, driver's license, ID, to work here in America in general. And then it's going to be required... Uh, for health care, health insurance. But um, we're going to get Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. <clears throat> so pretty much we prophesy the same thing today. The pestilence, you know, which I call a silent killer, um, it's going to catch people by surprise. They, they talk about the bird flu. They talk about the impox. They, they talk about the Marburg. They still talk about um, delayed effects and delayed reactions from those who took the hokey pokey. They still talk about, you know, disease X, you know, other pandemics. Um, the bubonic plague is back on the rise. All this stuff is coming on the scene here in these last days. So, so pestilence is going to have a major part in the, in the judgments that take place here in America. So, when we hit Ezekiel 5 and 12, now this is concerning the two-thirds of Israel who are going to die here in America. It says the third part of thee shall die with pestilence and with famine shall they be consumed. A third part shall fall by the sword round about thee, and I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw out a sword after them. So when you take the two-thirds of our people who are going to be cut off in judgment, one-third of them going to die by the famine and the pestilence. You know, it's, it's billions of Israelites in the earth. Two-thirds going to die, and one-third of those that die would die by the pestilence, sicknesses and illnesses, and famine combined. So the the, the pestilence, the, the illnesses and sicknesses gonna take out a, a humongous chunk of our people. And then this doesn't even include the other nations. So how many more millions, if not billions of people, gonna die by the pestilence? And what Esau going to do, he going to have it so bad out here with these different illnesses, people are going to be desperate and, and be running to get some kind of health care. Uh, many people going to be denied. And even those who do got coverage now, they about to collapse this system. Cyber attacks, blackouts. Only way you going to get treated and get medication and get seen by a physician is if you got this RFID microchip. People all over the world are implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting edge technology and what it could mean for your health. See, he said what it could mean for your health, this RFID microchip, which is the mark. That's going to be the, the difference between you being seen and receiving health care and you being denied. This chip is going to determine that. And again, Esau going to have it so bad out here with the pestilence. Hey, people going to be doing whatever. So we're going to get this next precept. This is a... Uh, 
Job 16 and 12, this, this kind of says that I was at ease. We at ease right now. We can do as we please day to day. For the most part, you Americans, not really in fear of nothing. You're going about your day to day with no care in the world. So I was at ease, that's you Americans, but he hath broken me asunder. Meaning what? Your life is going to fall apart. He have also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces. So Esau going to completely shatter you people, completely break you to pieces, going to bring you to your knees and set me up for his mark. See, Esau already got the infrastructure in place, the, the 5G towers, the, 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 the different scanners, um, smart cameras, smart street cameras. The technology, you can wave your chip over the keypad thing and, and it pays for you. They putting everything but behind glass doors. You're going to only have access to it if you weigh the chip. Esau got that pretty much done being set up. The only thing he got to set up now is the right scenario to, to scare you people to death so you run and go get this chip. And then we seen the videos, you know, Esau talking about it's stuff out there that people going to be oozing blood from their eyes, blood coming out their ears, their nose, their mouth. People going to be coughing up blood. They even talking about zombie outbreaks. <laughs> Which I'm going to have to do a future lesson on it, but that's something that they could actually really do. Because the Lord gave them the power to do so. So it's it's going to be so bad out here. And people are going to be so scared. That they're going to be running. To get this chip. So they can get some health care. At least have access to it. And be covered and not denied. So Esau just got to. Um. Let the right scenario play out. He got everything in place already. And this is Revelation 13 to 16. And he calls of all, both small, great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And that mark is again, the RFID market chip, that goes in the right hand, but also the Neuralink brain chip that Elon Musk is working on. Because remember, Elon Musk got appointed his role in Trump's administration as well. But again, that no man might buy or sell. And then when we go to this article, um, Dr. Oz, let me see. Let's read this. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services oversees several of the country's largest government programs providing health coverage to more than 150 million Americans. They regulate health insurance and set policy that guides the prices that doctors, hospitals, and drug companies are paid for many medical services. So yeah, what did it say? That no man might buy or sell. So healthcare, it, it costs. Healthcare is never free. <clears throat> no matter even if you 100% covered and you don't have to come out of pocket, it costs somewhere. So, even if um, it's free for you, again, it's going to cost somewhere else. You, you know, the government, the, the insurance agencies, they're not going to be allowed to cover you Unless you get this chip. So, what are you Americans going to do? Lord willing, a soap for we like. You know, the Lord keep the spirit on us to wait on him and to trust in him to deliver us. And that he covers us. But yeah, he's going to cause both smog, everybody to get this chip. 
one way or another. Then um, when we hit the book of um, Ecclesiasticus, which is known as Syrac, also known as Syrac, when we hit chapter 12, verse 10, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So yeah, and the enemy to you Israelites is obviously the other nations, especially Esau the white man. So never trust the enemy. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. So he's going to speak softly. He's going to speak sweetly. He's going to humble himself. But the scripture said, take good heed and beware of him. Thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So you got to look through this devil as if you're looking through a window. Take off that, that act that he's putting on at the surface. And, and, and look at what's, what his goal is. And then when you go back to this video. He's, he's, he's talking good. Turns out one of the biggest discoveries is actually this. He's, he's been a good communicator. He's been educational. He's been informative. And he, see how small that is? This little chip may be the next big thing. And it sounds like it's right from a sci-fi movie. But, people but the goal is for him to get the chip. So, 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 so wipe away the, the good words, the, the smooth talking, him sounding educational, him having on a suit, him having a camera in his face. He got a platform, his position that he was nominated for, the role that he was given by Trump. Take all that away and look at what the goal is. The goal is for you to get that chip. Verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. He's going to talk to you in a smooth voice, in, in a calm voice. He's going to use sophisticated words. He's going to sound educated. He's going to sound like he's concerned for you. Because what did he say? All over the world are implanting these into their wrists. So I asked my producer, Dean, to find out more about this cutting-edge technology and what it could mean your health. See, what it could mean for your health. You see that? He, he made it personal. He said what it could mean for your health. He didn't say what it could mean, you know, for health in general. No, he said for your health. Enemy speaker sweetie with his lips, but in his heart, he imagined up how to throw thee into a pit. What's that pit? Well, can apply in many ways, but pretty much how he going to get you in that chair to stick your arm out so they can put that chip into you. He will weep with his eyes. He'll cry with you at the doctor's office. He'll hold your hand. He'll get emotional with you. He'll hug you. But if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, he's acting like he's helping you. Yet he shall undermine thee. And this is what we were just saying. He will shake his head. He'll clap his hands. He'll cry. He'll hug you. He'll whisper much and change his countenance. But that's just so they can soften you up or open you up into getting that chip. For example, it might not be you that need health care. You might have a parent, a grandparent, a child, a sibling. They may need health care. And Esau going to do whatever he can to make sure y'all get that chip. So again, um, the mark of the B-E-A-S-T, which is the RFID microchip, will be required um, for health care. 
for health care coverage. So that's it. Lord willing, that was informative, edifying. Until next time, Shalom.